Hey Dumblies, it's Dave Desai. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about RM and Jisoo and what people believe to be them interacting and touching each other. I have a lot of thoughts on this. I also want to get into Jisoo and a bridal wedding dress rumor, but before we get into that, we have a sponsor for today's video, so roll that clip. Today we have a very amazing sponsor and a product that I have been using for about two months now and genuinely really good. The brand is called Exter and they sell these really durable premium wallets. And as Valentine's Day is coming around, these are just amazing gifts. And they do have a sale on it. I'll talk more about that. The idea is that they're very minimalist wallets and they're also so slim and compact. This is my normal wallet and their wallet. They have this button that slides your cards right out and you can easily view your cards. This metal one is my favorite and a leather one. This is premium leather. One of the main brand mission is to help combat identity theft. As you'll see when you use the wallet, all your cards and everything just lock into place and they have something else to help. Now this is a tracker. You can do a few things with it. Put it in your wallet and you can use an app to locate it and it rings so you can use Google Home, Alexa, Siri and just ask for it to ring your wallet. You can double tap this to ring your phone too. And you can also use the tracker to take selfies, hit the button on the app and press the tracker. The tracker is solar powered. So just put it in the sun for two hours every three months or so. Great products. And for you special dumplings, this Valentine's Day, you can get 20% off everything with a free gift bag after you spend over $150. To claim that, just go down to the description and check them out and thank them for sponsoring today's video. So hater or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Go grab the dumpling, let's see spilling mug merch and let's get into it. The first thing that I wanted to get into today is Jisoo and RM. So first off, if you're unaware, Blackpink and BTS are always being shipped together. This is nothing new. Members like Lisa often get shipped with Jungkook and Jisoo often get shipped with Tam. There's no quote unquote proof of Lisa and Jungkook, like literally zero interactions other than like eye contact. But Tam specifically gets shipped with all the girls because one, he has been singing along to Love Sick Girls, one of Blackpink's songs, but also he actually does have an interaction with a Blackpink member, and that is Jisoo, way back when they hosted. So I was surprised when I saw RM and Jisoo being talked about in the mix. I was shocked that anything was happening between the two or what appeared to be happening. This was this photo that started to go viral and it likely was from newer armies because a lot of the newer ones, especially the ones that just became fans after BTS's America debut, didn't know about this moment or older moment. BTS has been around since 2013, but didn't become a household name until I believe like 2020 when Dynamite came out. Now, back to the photo, we saw what appeared to be Jisoo in the photo talking to RM and some photos even surface of them getting really chummy and touchy with each other. Now, if you don't know anything about K-pop, you'd be surprised to know that in K-pop, not only are girls and guys from other groups not allowed to talk to each other, but definitely not allowed to touch each other. This sparks huge controversy and causes issues. And if they do do that and touch each other and talk, it's usually away from the camera. So people who are newer to K-pop who saw these photos think it's Jisoo and RM touching each other, given those are the bigger names in K-pop right now. However, with some small investigations, I was able to determine who that really was as we couldn't get a good view with that angle. However, we're able to see that this is Ailey and Ailey is a veteran in the industry. She's been around for literally ages and is such an amazing and is such a talented and amazing singer. I had a small possibility of meeting her through her team before the pandemic, but it never happened. And I am sad. Don't tell anyone about that. It might actually still happen if we keep it a secret. But anywho, you can tell from the outfit and photos from other angles that this is indeed Ailey. And they were both hosting, I believe, an SBS show in 2016. I could be wrong. But then, of course, there's still this question of, okay, if it's not Jisoo, then why was Ailey touching RM or talking to RM on camera and not scared of an issue? Well, Ailey hasn't had any of these big issues, mainly because people know her as Korean, obviously, but she is also American. So they excuse the touching and the more forward attitude because you're considered quote unquote foreign. For example, a big deal among Koreans, and I don't know if it still is, is when girls wear tank tops or anything that show shoulders. It's considered okay when you're on stage as it's considered a costume on stage, but when you're off stage, it is considered slutty, whereas in America, it's fine, right? But if you're a white person or a black person coming to Korea and you wear a shirt that shows shoulder, people don't call you slutty because you're considered a foreigner that goes by foreigner rules. It's like diplomatic 
community, but like socially and not politically. But also around this time, BTS was not shy about talking about girls, what their type was, and if they wanted to get married and such. They were still just starting out, so a lot of the fans were more close-knit, and so they didn't crucify the boys for looking at girls. So at this time, these interactions were definitely seen as more okay. Also, if I was Ailey and I was doing a stage thing with RM and we were friends, I'd be a little touchy too. I would never touch anyone without permission. But if given permission, of course, I'm not going to say no because there's a camera there. Let everyone think I'm dating RM. We're married after all. Y'all hate us. Just don't want to believe it. Joking aside, RM did not seem uncomfortable at all. I imagine Ailey's presence as very calming and nice and motherly, like her voice. It's so weird how Jisoo gets involved in this photo, but I totally understand. Jisoo is a bit more well-known in America and among the newer K-pop fans. I definitely want to see more from her soon. I do wonder, since Jisoo had her debut as an actress and that is what she wanted to do, is this her solo project and she won't have an album? If so, I'm fine with it. I just want to know because I'm sitting here waiting for a Jisoo mixtape. Meanwhile, maybe her solo era is coming to an end. So if you don't know, Jisoo is the star of the K-drama Snowdrop. After a whole ton of controversy about the show, the show is finally coming to an end and will be airing their last episode soon. And I can't believe that it went by so fast. I won't spoil too much if you haven't seen anything or not much of it. There won't be spoilers because what I am talking about is stuff that is posted on Instagram and stuff that is just theories. Now there's some theories floating around and they're quite interesting which is why I wanted to talk about it. The show Snowdrop is a fictional piece that takes place in a more historic time. It's about 1980s and it shows the romance of two people in a completely made up scenario in that time. Jisoo's co-star Heian posted some photos on his Instagram that people believe might be a little teaser of what's to come because it does appear that he is on set. He posted a bloody head and him in front of a bridal shop. The way Jisoo's character and her co-star Heian had an interaction was at a bridal shop and you saw the wedding dress. And some even predicted that since this is where they separated at that time, it could be referencing the end of the show will be Heian getting shot. And Jisoo is left there at the altar or Heian's character dies in Jisoo's arms. The show is very intense and it isn't just a simple romance. It's extremely dramatic and there are guns involved. The whole thing. I do think this theory is very likely because Heian appears to be on set and these are photos we haven't really seen before. But it's interesting why it was posted because typically you can't release anything from set on social media until after the show airs. And if it was a mistake, I think it would have been deleted, but it's still up last I checked, which means it probably got approval and it could definitely be a teaser. Which by the way, people get hate for speculating what would come next or what is to happen on a show. That's what the celebrity and show wants you to do. This is how you get hyped for things. This is how you look forward to it. You fantasize about what it could possibly be and what the ending is. This is how things become highly anticipated. But the fandom likes to bring this in and call it misinformation or fake news. Some of these fans abuse the word misinformation. It's not used that way. It is believed that GC will get married and maybe they will have a Romeo and Juliet type of ending. Very sad. This is very K-drama-like. Happens in all K-drama and someone has to die. You know, either from getting cancer after standing in the rain or dying because a leaf hits you. It happens. But this is just still a theory. We obviously won't know until the episode comes out. But I love that this K-drama that Jisoo first appears in is so dramatic and emotional because this really shows off her acting chops and how good she is as an actress. And that possibly she will book more roles and will get more stuff if YG allows her to do it. She could also go back into being a full-time singer. But the controversy of the show aside, I can't see how casting directors won't look at her and want to cast her in more. The controversy had nothing to do with Jisoo herself and the controversy brought a lot more eyeballs on the show and a lot of attention to Jisoo's debut. So in a way it was a good thing and could possibly even bring more attention for her to get her next acting role. Let me know what you think and if you want to see a more K-pop reaction videos go to my Patreon link below. I can't post them here due to copyright but you can get all sorts of reaction videos and requests. It's a great way to support the channel even more if you would like to. Thank you so much for this lovely comment right here. I love you so much. There will be some videos that will appear up on screen and I will see you over there. Bye.